in a world where carbs are your enemy, you need one man to help you fight your battles. That man is Jimmy. Combating nutrition, disinformation, and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live, and we're here with another episode of Jimmy Rants. Go to JimmyRants.com and you'll see how the show works. We start off over on Instagram. I do a couple of live videos every day. So go follow me on Instagram at LiveInLowCarbMan. That's L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N. Once you're there, you can engage in the content live, just like all these people are doing right now, coming in. You can watch it for up to 24 hours on replay on Instagram. So go watch the replay if you missed the live. You can also watch all the past episodes. We put them up on YouTube. So go follow me on YouTube, type in Jimmy Rants as a keyword search, you will find the show. And then finally, we have a Jimmy Rants podcast over on Apple Podcasts, which has the best of the best moments of this here show. JimmyRants.com is the website. Today's Jimmy Rants is all about making that mental shift from diet to permanent and healthy lifestyle change. And especially when you go on a ketogenic approach, a lot of people, they have trouble with this. And, and they'll say things like, well, I went on that keto diet and the diet didn't work because after I got off of the diet, it no longer worked. So that's one thing I hear a lot of times from people that they, they think it's about doing a diet for a short period of time to lose weight, get ready for a wedding, yada, yada, class reunion, whatever and they look at it in that realm. And it's one of those mentalities that's been out there in our culture where people think, okay, any given diet plan is only a temporary means to lose weight or to whatever, look better, whatever. But I wanna get you to make that shift. And making that mental shift over from looking at this as a pure weight loss diet over to being a healthy and permanent lifestyle change it can be difficult for a lot of people. And for me, I remember when I came from my crappy garbage diet uh, that I was eating before, um, it was packing on the pounds and making me decidedly unhealthy. When I started on the low carb diet, it truly was a diet to lose weight. And that was my sole purpose. I wanted to lose weight, not realizing that once I got into eating low carb ketogenic, that it was actually transforming me in, from the inside out. And so one of the ways that you can make that mental shift from it being just a diet uh, that's temporary for weight loss is to think of it as a health improving way of, of eating and health improving lifestyle change. Because I think if you put the focus only on weight loss, obviously you're only gonna look at it from a diet perspective. But when you make that shift over to it being a health promoting type of thing that helps you in your mind at least go, okay, well, I want to eat in such a way, live my life in such a way that I am promoting health. And anything that would not be promoting of health um, that I would do, I don't want to be doing anymore. So therefore, that keeps you away from having co cookies and candy and pies and uh, potato chips and all the crappy garbage that I talk about here so often on these Jimmy Rants. So it's a difficult road for a lot of people because they have put their diet in a box. All right, this is what I do when I want to get healthy, when I want to lose weight, rather than this is what I do in the day-to-day -to, -day to be healthy and to manage my weight properly. So sometimes it's just a slight little change of thinking about how we think about these things that makes all the difference in the world. And keep in mind, when I started on the Atkins diet in 2004, it was all about weight loss for me because I was 410 pounds. I was on three prescription medications. I was not doing well in my weight and health at all. But once I got into this, and I think keto makes it a lot easier. So if you go keto, you start to see robust changes, not just in your weight, but also in lowering of inflammation, 
you start seeing your blood sugar and your insulin levels come down. You start seeing all these really good markers in your health get better. Triglycerides drop like a rock. Um, HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol, goes up. All of these things are good. And then the best part, you get to eat delicious tasting foods. So that makes the shift over from this being a quick fix kind of per, uh, 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 weight loss strategy to more of, hey, I think I could eat this way for the rest of my life. And when you make that switch over in your head, guys, it is pure nirvana because at that point, you no longer are under the bondage of the diet mentality. And I think diet mentality is what has kept people unhealthy, has kept people overweight and obese, has kept them in a very bad spot for far too long. And keto has helped rescue them from that. No more cravings. The cravings go away. Once you're keto adapted, which can take about two to four weeks for most people, once you're fully keto adapted, you go long periods of time without eating very easily. Like yesterday, I went 32, uh, over 32 hours between meals. So I had not eaten uh, at all yesterday and, and the day before I had eaten at like 11.45 in the morning. So it had been an extremely long time between meals um, when I finally did get to eat last night. And so I couldn't do that if it weren't for being in a very ketogenic state, being in a, a great fat metabolism state where my body was very calm, I was not hangry, I was not having all the typical issues that most people would deal with on any standard, quote, healthy diet. So hopefully what you're hearing here today on this Jimmy Rants, is what I'm trying to communicate, is making that mental shift over from it just being a fleeting diet meant for weight loss over to a permanent uh, nutritional approach and lifestyle change that makes you healthy for the rest of your long and healthy life is, is what keto, I think, is doing for so many of us. All right, I wanna see what you guys have to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Always a pleasure to be here on Jimmy Rants with you guys. I'm currently in uh, just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. That's why you can see I'm blowing smoke. It's like 23 degrees and yes, I'm in shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> Cold thermogenesis today, baby. So, uh, any questions, you guys, about how you make this mental shift? I think this is the big thing that hangs people up. They, they go keto, but they go at it because it is a weight loss diet. And they don't go keto because they think about it being a health-promoting, health-gain diet. And I think that's why so many people who go keto uh, that don't succeed, their mindset was not about getting the health gains. Their mindset was solely on the weight loss aspect. And I think weight loss is certainly an admirable uh, reason for going on any diet or lifestyle change, but it's not the reason. And hopefully you've watched enough of my work that you know it's not even the primary reason why you should ever go on any kind of change. Obviously, if you make your body healthier through the choices that you're making in your diet and in your lifestyle, getting good sleep, managing stress, getting your hormones under control, uh, not taking medications that would exacerbate your health, those are all things that are proactive in pushing your body to the point where you will lose weight. So getting healthy to lose weight, not losing weight to get healthy. That makes sense? Kelly says, what health markers should we look for while we're making this mindset shift? Thank you for asking that, Kelly. So I mentioned a few of them already, but I'll repeat them again. So if you go keto and you wanna know, okay, I'm not losing weight or I'm not losing it as fast as I thought I should, blah, blah, blah. What are those markers I should be looking at? One of the key ones to look at is fasting insulin. So you can get a fasting insulin run at your doctor, very easy to track. It's a blood marker. Most of these are blood markers. So fasting insulin is a big one. You also wanna look for signs of inflammation. So there's several inflammatory markers. My favorite one is HSCRP, high sensitivity C-reactive protein. So that's the second one that I would recommend that you get run. You wanna look for, by the way, the fasting insulin, you wanna to try to have that in the single digits and optimally under five. 
Um, and with your HSCRP, you want it under three, but optimally under one, all right? Something you can do in the day-to-day, -day, Kelly, is also test your blood sugar levels. So you can go get a glucometer down at your local pharmacy, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, even Walmart has glucometers, and you can test your blood sugar. And what you wanna see is, are you falling within a range in a fasted state between 60 and 100 in your blood sugar? Um, and so that's another thing that you can keep an eye on to see that you're falling in that range. Um, you can also run a standard lipid panel which is like uh, your stan standard cholesterol test. And your doctor's only gonna look at total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, but the thing I want you to look at is triglycerides. So zero in on triglycerides, that number, uh, the range that they show on the lab is zero to 150. That's actually too high. You want it to be below 100. And when you carbohydrate restrict and you eat keto, it very easily goes below 100. Optimally though, you want it to get under 70. It's very easy to do that when you carbohydrate restrict, that drops your triglycerides better than any drug ever could. Also on your lipid panel, you wanna see your HDL cholesterol. If you have lower levels of triglyceride, you're gonna to tend to have higher levels of uh, HDL cholesterol and vice versa. When you have higher trigs, it can actually be lower in HDL and that's not good. So with HDL cholesterol, you want it to be over 50 and optimally over 70. If you're female, for some reason, women have a very easy time going much higher uh, in their HDL cholesterol. So lucky you guys. So, <laughs> And what you're looking for is that triglyceride to HDL ratio. Your ultimate goal is to get that at 1.0 or below. So if your triglycerides are 70 and your HDL is 70, that is exactly a 1.0 triglyceride to HDL ratio. What else can you have run? There's all kinds of things that you could have run, a full thyroid panel. You could also uh, just look in general at all your health markers on a complete blood count, uh, CBC. Uh, there's also a complete metabolic panel, CMP. Uh, those are standard tests. Every single doctor knows how to run. Uh, but get started on just those few, and, and you'll see dramatic changes. And of course, if you're ketogenic, you want to see, am I actually burning fat for fuel? So get yourself a Keto Mojo blood ketone monitor. Test your blood ketones. You, if you don't want to prick your finger, you can blow into this meter called a ketonix, uh, K-E-T-O-N-I-X, and it'll show your level of ketosis that way. So, so many tools to track. Definitely track those things, even when the weight isn't doing what it's supposed to do for you in your mind. Um, always track those health markers. And one more thing, test how you feel. Just, just stop and say, okay, how am I feeling right now? Do I feel good? Do I feel better than I was before keto? Even that subjective nature of how do you feel is a huge marker of how you're doing on this. And can you go 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 24, or like I did yesterday, 32 hours between meals, and it's not a big deal? That's a good sign that you're in a very good metabolic state. Uh, St. John's Priest, uh, thanks for being here. Weight loss contributes to good health. It can, and but I would even invert that. I would say good health contributes heavily to weight loss. So they do go hand in hand, but I think focusing on the health helps so many people with the mental aspect of this diet because people throw all their eggs in the basket of weight loss as the holy grail of how they're doing on keto. I want you to look at all those health markers I just explained to Kelly as the holy grail of how you're doing on keto. And then, oh yeah, by the way, when you do all of those things, weight loss will surely come. Kimberly says, most of us were already eating meats and such. I had to kick the crappy garbage to the garbage. I love that. I love not being on a diet. A way of eating is priceless. It really is. It changes your life and Kimberly is evidence of that. Am case, it's definitely a lifestyle for me. Diabetes health scare led me here, went into the ICU, ICU with ketoacidosis, no previous diabetes diagnosis. Well, you're doing it now, very proud of you. That's awesome, Am case. One day until the Disney cruise, this will be my first low carb, zero carb cruise, says Tracy, where I will track all my readings. This is most assuredly a mental shift. 
And you can very easily uh, uh, do a cruise and stay keto or even carnivore. Um, we do two low carb keto cruise events every single year uh, that I help lead. Lowcarbcruiseinfo.com, by the way, if you're interested in joining us. Uh, late May and late September are those event dates. You're a gift to all of us. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate that. So the bottom line in this Jimmy Ranch, you guys, is there's a lot of people that struggle with the head stuff when it comes to making that shift from this keto thing just being a diet, which I'm seeing a lot of the news articles out there talking about keto. Oh, it's just a temporary diet. It really is not healthy over the long term. They're looking at it from the diet perspective and they're looking at it only from the weight loss perspective. And hopefully most of you guys that watch my show, you know it's so much more than just the diet, so much more than just something to produce weight loss. It truly is a permanent and healthy lifestyle change that you will do for the rest of your long and healthy life. All right guys, that's it for this Jimmy Rants here in 23 degree weather. I'm getting a little therm cold thermogenesis in today. But jimmyrance.com is the website. Go and hop over there and you'll see how this show works. We start off on Instagram, do some live videos for you here on Instagram. So go follow me, Livin' Low Carb Man, L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N. Once you're there, you can engage in the content live, just like all these beautiful people did here today. If you missed the live, you can also watch it on replay for up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, it does disappear, but we throw all the past episodes up on YouTube, which we're in the 170s now, you guys. So go access the past episodes if you missed any of them. Look up Jimmy Rants in either a Google search or a YouTube search. You will find the show. And then finally, on Apple Podcasts, we have the show uh, Jimmy Rants, which has the best of the best moments of this here show in podcast form. JimmyRants.com is the website. So until next time, we'll see you then.